Okay, collective. I'm back with another one, another quick one. So I'm asking everybody before I get off into this read to hit that thumbs up button for me and to subscribe to my channel. You're about to find out about some secrets that's about to be released. And it has something to do with a snake. Okay. You're about to find out some secrets about a snake. You may have hidden knowledge about this snake. Okay. So what are the secrets, Holy Spirit? What are the secrets that's going on with this snake that's around the collective? That they're not your snow soulmate. This person could have somebody else. <coughs> you may have found out that they had somebody else that was dealing with. This is why they're being a snake. So clarify this lady. This lady may not be talking to them. Someone is, is having a fit of rage. Somebody may be very upset that you found out about this other woman. Or somebody could, you could be the other woman and somebody could have found out about you. And they're in a rage. What else? So it's anger going on, but it's like um, this gentleman and this lady is in here. And neither one of them are talking to each other. Okay. Now, they may not be talking because somebody found out that um, somebody had somebody else. Okay. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Who is this snake? Who is the snake energy around the collective? Somebody that you're not um, talking to. This could be your person. Um, this also can um, have something to do with some sort of test results can be out here. A letter, a message somebody is not receiving. You may not be talking to this person. You may realize that they're, you're not soulmates and that this person is a snake. You found out. Yeah. This made this person mad to the fact that you found out that you weren't their main person. Okay, and now they're trying to text you and you're not responding to them. So now they're really pissed off. Okay. So tell me about this snake. <coughs> this could have something to do with a large corporation, a big building, um, a courthouse, police department. Um, this, this could also mean um an argument or explosion this person is it was there was possibly a big argument between you and them when you found out that this person had somebody else this was a secret how did the collective um how was this secret exposed how was this secret exposed It was destined for you to find out. Okay. How did the collective find out about this secret? How did the collective find out about this secret? And again, I'm asking everyone, hit that thumbs up button for me. That's an uh, energetic way to donate to my channel. This, whoever this person is, they were sent into your life by the devil to throw you off your path. So, like, if you're you're with this person and, and they're uh, dealing with somebody else, them dealing with somebody else um, fucks with your mind, okay? That way, if you're, if your mind is being fucked with, you, you, you don't, you can't focus on what it is God the Most High have for you to be doing, right? Here's the sun in reverse. 
Here's a protective mother. And attraction, love, and passion. You could have uh, found out this person was dealing with somebody by, um, you could have picked up their phone and, and seen they was messaging somebody else. Um, for others of you, if this is not nothing to do with a relationship, somebody in a big corporation is angry or a big corporation is angry. Um, they could be delaying some sort of paperwork that's supposed to be coming to you. Um, is somebody out here famous in my collective? If you don't feel you are, you're supposed to be. Somebody. That's not for everybody, but it's somebody. Okay. So more back on these secrets that come out. Tell me more about the secrets. Everybody hit that thumbs up. That's your way to energetically donate to my channel. Even if this don't resonate with you, hit that thumbs up button for you, girl. Thank you in advance. Because y'all don't know this takes energy. And this is my only job right now. So I need for all of you, if you're sitting here getting the, the, the information that I'm giving you, hit that thumbs up. Here's a, uh, a miscarriage. Somebody could have had proposed to somebody and it's a miscarriage out here. Um, It's some sort of legal document. Somebody is obligated to something. Somebody could be obligated to, you know, keeping secrets from you. Somebody could be being obligated to be to being a snake when it comes to you. I see a protective mother bear out here. Someone's mother is not happy right now when it comes to love and, and passion. Okay, tell me more about these secrets. What are the secrets that needs to be revealed to the collective Holy Spirit? Reveal the secrets to me when it comes to this snake or this major corporation. Success, victory, and good news. Some sort of uh, legal document or paperwork is coming to you that's going to bring you some sort of victory, okay? Um, and somebody could be mad about this in a rage. For some of you, it's a family member. For others of you, it's your twin flame, your person. Um, they may they may be trying to contact you right now, trying to text message you, and you're not um, responding, replying back to them because you found out about this secret. Birds. 
Some of you, you need to get out in nature more. Go sit at the park sometime. Go sit at the beach. Go sit in your front yard if it's safe. Go sit um, on your balcony. Sit in your backyard. Sit somewhere where you can see bees and butterflies and, and birds, okay? Because those animals, different animals bring different messages. You just have to know how to um, pay attention to what they're saying, okay? And when it comes to this relationship with you and your person, um, with the secrets, let me see what the secrets are. It could be a third party situation. You may be, you can go out to the park and just sit in your car and look at the birds. Do you see one bird? You represent that one bird is you. If you see two birds, you represent that that uh, other bird is you and your person. If you see three birds, that can represent you, your person, and a third party situation. Now, what is going on with those three birds? Okay, you ask spirit to show you through the birds. And sometimes you don't even have to ask. You can just be looking around and pay attention and, and get a message. Are them birds working together? Are they fighting? Are they flying together? Is one following the other? Is one chasing the other? It don't matter what kind of bird they are. What is the energy of them birds? And then you take them same energies and you look at them and see if it resonates with you. Okay. Okay, so Holy Spirit, show me um, what the secret is now. The imprisonment card came out. Somebody is in prison. Somebody could have you feeling like you're in a mental prison. Um, here's the here's somebody that's in prison. They could be uh, being privately investigated. Somebody could be spying on you, or you could be spying on somebody, or have hired a private investigator for somebody um, that's in jail. It's the also it's also the energy of somebody either coming out of poverty or they wanted you in poverty and you're not. And this could be somebody who you're you're uh, into the marriage with. Maybe your husband is in jail or your wife is in jail. And maybe they're about to get out because the wind just blew this card and put it in reverse. So this person, they may be getting out of prison. This could be, uh, you could have found out this person was dealing with somebody while they was in jail. Um, you and this person, I don't know who this for, could have um, showed up at the prison at the same time. You could have sneaked, you know, not sneak, but wanted to do a, a, a pop-up on this person to surprise them and, and got yourself surprised. Okay. This person, you know, when this happened, they was telling you, well, I wasn't your main man. Well, motherfucker, if, 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 why am I even here? Because you was giving to this person. Giving them gifts, helping them out. And this is somebody who's in jail. Or they had you feeling like you was in jail. To where if you end a marriage with them, you're going to be broke, poor, in poverty. Now, take it where it resonates. That's how it is. It, is different energies, okay? And here's the energy of somebody being held in high honor. And this person wasn't official. You could have been married to them, and now they're apologizing you. See, you could have held this person in high honor. You held your, your marriage in high honor, and they didn't hold it in high honor when it came to you. So now this person is apologizing. Or you could be apologizing this person. This You could be dealing with somebody who have you feeling like you did something wrong to them when you ain't did shit to them, but you constantly apologizing. You stop that shit. Whoever that is. If you apologizing to a motherfucker for some shit you didn't do, stop apologizing. 
You're giving them power to think they can keep getting away with shit and pulling the wool over your eyes. Fuck that. Let this motherfucker go if they doing that. And some of you have already ended this shit with them. So you need to listen to Spirit 1515 on the clock. And I'm going to stop it right there. Peace out.